very useful, isn't it, that big picture? So now I get back to the original example, or the one I gave yesterday. Someone's pulling you into an argument. You know how some people do that? And so you are, you find you are getting pulled in, but then all of a sudden you realize that you're getting pulled in, and you take a mental step back. You, some people say you know count to ten. It's the same idea. So what is it that interferes with the big picture? I'm I'm getting to the the little technique, the little meditational technique. That that is helpful. That helps you to to get the big picture. But before I talk about it, I want to talk about a little bit of the psychology of, of uh, the big picture and also the meta-psychology of it. So what interferes with getting the big picture? You know what, what interferes, don't you? Of course you do. One thing is anger. When you get angry, emotions rise up. And then what? Then you have an intensely subjective viewpoint. Why is he saying that to me? Why are they doing this to me? Why does this always happen to me? Why can't he ever see? Anger. It's a judgment. You've made a judgment. So that interferes with getting the big picture. The other thing that interferes with getting the big picture is being lost in thoughts. See, when you're lost down there in thoughts, then you can't get the big picture. You can't see the forest for the trees. You've heard that expression? can't see the forest for the trees. But when you're lost in thoughts, you're lost in the trees. Facts, figures, formulas, memories, images, words that you've heard, things you've memorized, things somebody said. See, you're just lost in that. Planning, scheming, worrying. And when you're lost down there, you can't get the big picture. Okay? The other thing is resentment. Of course, we talk about that all the time. Resentment takes away the big picture. It takes away love. Okay. Now, what else? Let's talk about some simple. So you understand those, right? Anger, resentment, being lost in worries, doubts, fears. Okay, those take away the big picture. But let's talk about something else that takes away the big picture: concentrating too much, making something too important. So the reason why you're concentrating is because you're making it too important. That's that's how it starts. Okay. You make something too important. More important than what you know is right in your heart. Okay. So, you're in the grocery store and um, and you want to get to, you see, you've already made things too important. You know, you want to, you want to get out as quickly as possible. You see, and then you see a line that's empty, and then somebody else is rushing for the line. Somebody's going to the line. And so what do you do? You rush to get ahead of them. Rush, rush, rush. Well, you made it too important. See? I can think of a thousand... I'm sure you can think of many examples yourself. Making something too important. The moment you make something too important, you lose the big picture. 